Do you bath just to get clean? Or to entice? Entice your man with peccadillo. Peccadillo foam bath. Peccadillo. Autumn. It's a time for remembering. Old friends and old times. Andrew! Andrew! What's that supposed to mean? There must be something. I mean, I don't know. Oh, for heaven's sake. Rock and roll. I suppose so. That's what it is. An old one of cakes. You don't like rock and roll. 
It made the most noise. Oh, I, I must have knocked it over. I better catch you up. I rang your office. Oh, no. Why? To make sure you'd left, that you were on your way. Who to speak to? Miss Ames. Oh. Oh, she'd love it. Your wife sounded rather distraught, Mr. Truscott. Is everything all right? Just sniffing for the signs of a breakup. She just said you'd gone. Ames is a ghoul. She feasts on broken marriages. Her voice is kind. You bet. What else did you say? Nothing. That was all. Then I rang Mother. What? I, I just had to talk to somebody. You can't be serious. Just had to. Talk to her? You actually got a word in? And she listened? That's one for the Guinness Book of Records. You must have been desperate. Yes. What started it off? Hmm? Something happened. All this bolting of doors, there must be something. Do you see something out there? Somebody? I don't know. I told you, I don't know. All right, I'll tell you about my day. First, usual office meeting with long, exciting reports from Motor Claims Department. Uh, then, lunch with Peter Newell. Oh. You remember Peter Newell, <laughs> eh? The actuary? The one who tells all the jokes? Well, he told his jokes while I tried to bring him round to the subject of reinsurance. You know, that reminds me, I must ring him at home. Oh, not now, darling. And then, afterwards, I stopped off and bought you a little present. Oh. The oh. ones you wanted. Yes, thanks. Well, they don't look much like gardening tools, but he said they no, were. They're special, lightweight. Now I can get on with lifting those bulbs. Mr. Wicks lets me. <laughs> I bought some trays this morning in the village. I did quite a big shopping. Just left Mrs. Norman to it, do a big clean-up. Then, after lunch... I... Well, you got a rest, I hope. When well, you're sleeping so badly. Yes, sir. I went to bed and had a rest. I, I took a sleeping pill. A pill? No, perhaps I shouldn't have, but I did. All it did was give me nightmares. Yes, it would. Nightmares in the afternoon. All of a sudden, I woke up and I, I felt so unreal and awful. The pill? No. Listen, it, it was as if something had been happening. Here? Yeah. As if something had happened and I hadn't known about it. It in, in a way I had, as if I'd been aware of hearing. What? Just confusion. It all went away quickly, you know how a dream does. And I got up and felt terrible sick. Well, I'm not surprised. You shouldn't. I know, I know, I know. You didn't sleep off the pill and then you had a drink, or however many you've had. The worst possible thing. All right, you find the house a bit oppressive at times. Empty. We knew it would be. We talked about that before Kate got married. The point is, you don't have to stay in it. We've got neighbours. The Gibsons are only 60 yards away. She's always glad to see you. The Gibsons are out. I rang them, too. Ah. What is it? A car. Well. Down the lane. It was there when I got up. Oh, yes. Just make it out. Open-top sports car. Doesn't look anything very sinister. Did you see who was in it? No. Lovers, probably. There's a style into that field. I noticed the door was open, the driver's door. Yeah, I think it still is. Yes, it is. All that time, 
just left like that. Sort of abandoned. Looks quite a new car, too. I mean, why would anybody... Unless they had to. Kidnap, you say? Do you suppose? Well, hijack's a better word. Hijack in Blackberry oh, Lane. Roger. Is it really called Blackberry Lane, or is that just that? Hmm? It probably hasn't got a name. Anyway, it's that sort of title, like all those paperbacks you keep getting. Mm. Where do you get them? Every single cover with a nude model squirming, yeah. and fur, and blood, and a gun. Mm. Make poor old Freud turn in his grave. I thought for a second you were serious. No, but I am. I'm throwing all my professional expertise into gauging, assessing, evaluating a problem of that car. It is parked in a lover's lane. People go hopping into that field like rabbits to have it off. Come harvest time, Bill Tucker must be grateful if there's a single stalk of corn still upright. That explains it. I had a thought so. Just lovers? Yes. It's cold and dark now. Well, what do you want me to do? Go down there with a flashlight and chase them out? On your way, please. Too late in the year for that sort of thing. You think I'm a fool? I think you're still finding ways to work yourself out. I know, like Kate's letter. The big panic. And then the gypsies and the fuse box and that business over the barbed wire. If you'd only start by admitting that you'd do it. I don't want to make noises like a bloody analyst, but you see what I mean. It's a kind of indulgence, a giving in. We can't afford that, Angie. It runs us dry. We're not children anymore. We've got to keep our problems strictly practical, things we can find a way to cope with. All right. Good. Strictly practical. That's right. Now, I bet you forgot about supper. So, what the hell? We'll just get a snack and get an early night, eh? For one strictly practical thing, we've got a rat. What? Here in the house. I can't hear it now, but I could before. I kept on hearing it scratching and gnawing. That's why I made so much noise. That stopped it. Now, why on earth didn't you tell it me? It stopped. But, I mean, if it got you in such a state... I hate them. But this is exactly the sort of thing. We can cope with it. But well, perhaps you already have. That racket would have scared anything off. No, I don't think so. Well, where was it? Well, over there at first, and then in the corner under the floor. You wanted Buster make of it? Buster? Well, you did call him. When I mean, you've got a big dog well, like that. Of course I called well, him. Well, then... Well, I, I showed him the spot, and he sniffed and barked a lot, and he jumped about in here and in the hall, and he got very excited. Yeah, I bet he did. A job to do at last, the lazy brute. And then he started whining to be let out, as if he'd frightened it outside and wanted to chase it. Yeah, well, he'd hear it running. So I let him out the back way, and he ran off. Did he get one? They always bring it to shame. He didn't come back. What? It just went. Well, the old shocker must have lost the drift. Lazy brute. I don't know why I came back a... here and heard the rat again. Ah. Oh. And that's when I put the record he on. gets excited, doesn't know what he's doing. Hey, if he's after sheep again, we're in trouble. Oh, Bill Tucker will simply have us. It's the back door. Oh, yeah. Buster! Try again in a minute. Not a sign of him. It's back again. (laughs) 
Right on the bastard, not the clean teeth clean out of his head. Didn't like that, did you? That's Carpagee. Bastard! <laughs> That's all it takes. How now? You went down the cellar. No. To get that. Out of the fridge. You didn't touch the door, the bolt. Oh, you bolted that too. You bolted everything. What on earth? Well, I had to. No, it couldn't push doors open. Anyway, it wasn't in the cellar. And it isn't even a cellar, it's only a glory hole. It was under here. Nothing down there but the foundations. Rubble. Nothing for it got fed up, started chewing its way out. Was that it? Well, you try hanging upside down to a floor joist and chewing through a board. You'll see if it's fun. Anyway, it's enough of that. He's out there now, scared stiff. Or with luck, being eaten by Buster. <laughs> you know, I'm worried about that dog, though. He's an idiot. You just had a bad day. I read an article that when people get older, their brain cells perish. That means getting stupid. You're still ahead of Buster. <laughs> seriously. All right, seriously. Well, when I think of our friends that break up, suppose I got really stupid. You couldn't stand me if I got really stupid, could you? Oh, Anne. Look, I'm going to make that one phone call and get it done, all right. Oh, hello. Uh, could I speak to Mr. Newell? Isn't he? No. Would you like to leave a message? Uh, no. I'll catch him another time. Oh, just a minute. Hmm? I think he's here now. Oh, good. Just got in. You, yeah? Peter, Roger Truscott. Oh, hello. Peter Tewitt. I've been home for ages. Well, I've got a bloody sight further to go, old boy. <laughs> well, I won't keep it from that drink. Just one small PS to what we agreed. Oh, here we go. On the, the second stage layoff, I think the limit ought to be nine and a quarter percent. Hmm. Yeah, fair enough. You don't take it. That's all. I'll leave it with you. Right. Hey, listen. What about that crap on the radio? Crap? Well, you have got a car radio. Of course. Well, then. I really listen to the music. <laughs> oh, good Lord, you miss everything. They get the most marvelously funny items. Well, well, they had this bit, and it made me think about you. It was about your part of the universe. Uh, Peter. And, and I, I thought to myself, old Truscott, he'll be listening to this. I wonder if he's seen anything. Seen what? Oh, bloody rat migrations. <laughs> oh, a joke item. Uh, rather more freaky than jokey. Reports about rats crossing country roads. People have seen them, thousands of them. Yeah, it sounds very amusing. No, 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 perfectly serious. Yeah, one for your collection. It does happen. I've read about it. Old bloody columns of rats on the march. Well, since I didn't hear it, I've found... But apparently they can be very nasty. Yeah, Peter, I won't keep you from that drink any longer. Oh. <laughs> Putting the wind up you, am I? Oh, sorry, old boy. Uh, sorry. Nine and a quarter percent, all right? All right. Be seeing you. Right, bye, Peter. Bye. Bloody fool. Once he gets started, you can't... Migrations. <laughs> oh, you heard? Yes, well, that's exactly what bothers me about him. He fills his head with that sort of thing. And then those terrible jokes. He admits it, a mind like a litter bin. All the same, I have to trust his judgment, and suddenly I find myself wondering, should I? No. What? You don't. You're just talking. Yes, about Peter Newell. It's important. He it's business. He said it was happening I here. I don't think so. He did. Reports coming from our part, part of, of the... the universe. His exact words. If you think that... He meant here. Bring him back. No. Ask him. I will not. Whatever happened to our beautiful evening? I hate the sound. Your bed, all lumps and bumps.
Socks and Agony. Oh. Don't miss the big bedding of Put it off. Oh, there might be something. Starting Monday. And now, back to... This is Barney Wills, giving you Barney's Barney's... Anyway, it's funny. You listen to that. Back Sometimes. To and this is your party. And now, the studio is filled with the past, with mildew and cobwebs and old, old oh, people from the red. 60s, like these. For goodness sake, I got the hippies. I'm going to look for that dog. in some low-lying areas. Oh, shiver, shiver. Weather? And now, good folks, for that novelty item. The guy who runs the program before mine, what is his name? Oh, forgive me, Oliver. It appears old Ollie turned up something about rats. I gather a couple of his fans phoned in. Would you believe fans? To say they'd seen large quantities of these king-size meeses crossing country roads on for meals, so to speak. Whole columns of them numbering thousands. Well, I said to myself, if it came from Ollie's... Of show, course well, it's a oh. hoax. But low and Hoax, old, hoax. Of course, of course it is. Do you think they can? It seems the furry folk are really out and about tonight. We've just had confirmation from no less an authority than the Automobile Association. Over to Karen at the AA. That's right, Barty. A patrol van radioed a report in just now that it was held up by a rat swarm for ten minutes. Wow! Let me work this out. Assuming a rat flow of X rats per square yard per hour, it's a hell of a lot of rats. Where was this, sweetheart? Hampshire, somewhere south of Basingstoke. Oh, God. Oh, look out, oh, no. Basingstoke. Lock up your cheese. Anything else, Karen? Ooh, that congestion on the Winchester bypass has now cleared. It's how my luck. And now, on with the show. This is Barney Wills. Give Don't turn it off. Just done. You heard her. And where? There's probably no connection. No, you can believe that if you like. It's under here. Two. Yes. What do we do? We don't get in a state. I'll call the local police. What do you expect them to do? Bring traps? I'll ask their advice. That car's still there. I can see it in the moonlight. Uh, hello, my name's Truscott. I live on the Lower Denton Road. Uh, you had any reports about excessively large numbers of rats in this district? Rats? Well, I just heard a, an item on the radio. It spoke of rat swarms crossing roads, blocking them. How many traffic, sir? Well, the odd cars. It was an AA report. Has it come my way, sir? Uh, the, the point is, I think I've got rats here in the house. Many? Uh, a couple. Two? Well, at least. Well, set a dog in them, sir. I can't. They're under the floor. I can hear them. Oh, forget it, sir. Just call the council officers in the morning. They'll see to it. Uh, you don't think there's any connection, then? With, with that report, I mean? Well, I don't know. I see. Yes, I understand. That was just... Thank you. Good night. What did he say? Oh, it's all perfectly normal. You'll get rats on the move at this time of the year out of the corn stubble. So we just call our council rodent operators well, to operate our rodents. Classing us as townies, you see. A real countryman would know how to shift them. He'd have his ways. Well, I suppose they smoke them out or gas them. Well, don't try well, it. They might be a Set the house on fire. I could ask old Bill Gibson. He's, uh, he's very practical. Boringly practical, but over something like that. Am I not back yet? No, well, just as soon as they are. It's so loud. Oh, well, it's the wood exaggerates it. A sound in more effect. I think there are more than two. Yes, well, that's supposed to be adaptable. 
That's how they succeed as a species. If you can call it success. Running around in other species' sewers and drains and eating garbage. Fisty legs, do you know how? Oh. One of them lies on its back and takes the egg on its belly and another toes it along by the tail. Well, I've read about that. I don't People have seen it happen. Oh, what do you think about? True or false? What are they doing? They're digging themselves in. They could be true. Corn stubble's got a bit chilly, so they're moving in here when it's warmer. It's difficult for the average In here, though. I don't want them in my house. Bloody, foul, filthy, diseased... Vermin! 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 It's vermin! Vermin! They're talking, they're talking Does about... that mean they're getting bigger? Oh, not at all. Or cleverer, craftier? No, no, no. I really must object to the term super rats used in that sense. But that's how most folk would use it, Mr. Dodge, surely. Perhaps so, but it really isn't correct. But these rats aren't bigger or in any way different. Except in that one particular that they have become resistant to poison. Through natural selection. Exactly. The term super rat is entirely sensational while alive. Uh, but surely, if they do have this immunity, it must mean they're able to breed in huge numbers. Oh, yes. Enormous. I mean, that's our great problem. The last question, Mr. Dodge. Far away. For any of our listeners who happens across one of these rat swarms or migrations, have you a word of advice? Uh, just this. Stay well clear. They could be nasty. Thank you, Mr. Dodge. Thank you. Oh, is it a bird? Is it a bat? No, it's super rat. Oh, all right, everybody said it, so it's my turn. Naughty party. Now we'll take a short break. Water. Mr. Super. Oh, he said there was nothing in that. I know. God, they love it, don't they? Trying to frighten themselves. Super, these things are bloody sub, perhaps we need to remember that. Sorry about the supper. I was being stupid. Oh, well. Who the hell was supper? I think perhaps that's what we both need. Something to eat and sit down and stop thinking about. Perhaps we ought to get out of the house for a couple of hours. Have a meal somewhere. Why don't we? Do you really want to? Yes. I didn't think I did, but it might be a good idea after all. There's that place we keep forgetting to try that's supposed to be so good. Golden keys or cross keys or whatever, you know. Now? Yes, I can put a face on. It won't take a minute. Just walk out of here. We could. Just like that. Oh, Roger. A bit of soft candlelight, a few waiters poncing around, and we can just forget all about this. But just for a couple of hours, let's go. You've really got the wind up. I hate the noise they make. I find it creepy. You know that. They scare you. Please. Well, they don't scare me. And if you think I'm going to leave my house to be infested, then you don't know me. After all these years, you don't. This is an infestation by vermin, and I am not a man just to run out and let it happen. What can you do? I'll fix them, don't worry. If we don't have a proper dog, there'd be no problem. You just tear up a floorboard and shove him down there, but bloody buster! He was never any good. Not from the beginning. I knew he wouldn't be. I said don't get that one, but you insisted. All right, it's my fault. Out of the whole litter, it had to be that one. You're like a pattern of his spots, that was it. Well, a lot of good his spots are doing us now. Sure. seems to have dried up. No more rat stories. We had one or two about mice, but they're little cosy. Even had one about cats from a fellow that must have been hard of hearing. No, it's rats only. Rattus, rattus. Ho, 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 erudite party. Now, here is a number that's so old, the grooves are carved by hand. Honestly. Oh, Roger! Something to use. Here, too. Yeah, I know. Roger. Mm -hmm. Come with me quickly. I want to try something. Oh, found the tools anyway. Quickly. Oh, what now? I 
Well, and they are. What are you driving at? Don't you realize they're following us? No! They are. They're following us whichever room we're in, wherever we go. Gee, stop this! It's what they're doing! I'll tell you what they're doing. They're exploring. They're scratching about down there amongst the floor joists to find places to make nests because they are vermin, and that is what vermin do. They're starting to infest our home. Suppose they're more than that. What do you mean? Cleverer. But you heard that man just now? Suppose he was wrong. He was obviously some kind of an expert. He said they developed an immunity to poison. That means chromosomes and genes and all that sort of thing. I don't understand it. I never could, but couldn't something else have developed as well in them? It was one specific poison. It happened to be the best ever found against them. It made them bleed to death. Oh, yes. Right, you wipe most of them out with that. Any that are left must have some kind of natural immunity, and then if they breed, you start to get a new strain. That's what I mean. They are different. You can't kill them the same way, not with that particular poison. If that was all it meant. It is! They are following. What's this for? You trying to get me going too? Perhaps you ought to leave. You get out. Give me a chance. Aren't you? That's it. Get over to the Gibsons if they're back. Or, or into town. Find a hotel for the night. Just pack a bang and go. Not in my own. It's up to you. I'm sure there was some left. What? Spirits of sauce. Acid? Yeah, strong stuff. I, I used it for cleaning out the drains that time. Oh, what did it do? Uh, not much on its own, but... She uses chloride of lime, doesn't oh, she? Mrs. Norman? Yeah, thank God she's old-fashioned. Where'd she keep it? Chloride of lime? Yes, come on. She uses it for scattering around the bins. Where is it? I don't know. Well, think! Perhaps it's outside, in the shed. No. No, I remember. Try there, behind the bulk stuff. Saves trouble. Well, see what small chemistry can do, what I can remember of it. The only question, does the reaction require water? Oh, but I have some handy, just in case it does. And to douse things if the need arises. If I can get this lot down to where they are, it'll generate chlorine gas, and they won't like that. By God, they won't. If it just works through to where they are, the tap! Oh, bloody airlock. It's there. Now, don't stop They've got through the pipe. How could they? They can. With their teeth, they can. I've heard that. They do it to get to the water whenever there's a drought. There is no bloody drought. No, there isn't. So it wasn't them. But if they did it... There'd be no reason. If they still did it. Hot! <laughs> Plenty of that. Work all the better, too. I'm going to gas the bastards. Aren't you going to watch? Holiday, now's the time to do it. World Over Tours new brochure is a honest brochure with the small print details in big print. Greece, Italy, Spain, all on offer at bargain prices. All yours from World Over. Is this you in your bed? All lumps and bumps and agony. Don't miss the big bedding event at all Wheeler stores, starting Monday. Boys, boys. Have you got your whiskers on? One for grandpappy. It was an old day when he was an itchy bitty boy. <laughs> Studio. I mean, I mean, can you put me through? I want to speak to Barty Wills now, please. Uh, it's about rats. He's just been talking about them on his program, the one that's on now. My name. This is Angela Chuska. But please, it's a matter of urgency. Oh, get on. 
through the bushes? I mean, I can hear them now, at this moment. Rats? Yes, in the house. Not too nice, but don't worry, I'm sure... No, my husband's easy. doing something, but... Get a dog, borrow one, a big growly pooch that goes... Grrr, oh, woof, woof, woof. Hey, 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 borrow me. Well, thank you, Angela. No, wait, wait, please, listen. Uh, that man that you had on the programme just now, he talked about them. Oh, Mr Dodge? Yes, is he still there? Well, we just called him up. Oh, I see. And now, Angela... Well, can you get him again? He's probably out setting his traps, but if you need advice... No, I'm wait, sure listen, please. There, there's something wrong. What do you mean, wrong? In them. The rats? Yes, I know it. I'm sure of it. Uh, go on. Well, they've always been afraid of people. We've always poisoned them and killed them, and they knew we could. I guess so. Well, now, our most deadly poison doesn't work on them anymore. That's right. So won't they know that too? I see what you mean. So now we're the enemy that doesn't always win. So they don't have to be afraid of us. And if that happens, if they stop being afraid... Hey, that's quite an idea. It's not just an idea. Angela, sweetie, you've got the whole studio with its collective hair standing straight up on end. You I ought to see it. Us. I can tell. Now, listen, Angela, I want you to hang on there. Give me a sec for the old tic-tac, right? We're going to try and locate Mr. Dodge and really go into this. Meanwhile, folks, a tiny break. Water. <gasps> it's a time for remembering. Yes, yes. All right, I, I understand. What the hell do you think? Well, they can help us. Angela, sweetie. But you did hear. You, Just you meant all that? Yes. You must be raving. It's true, it's what they're doing. Entice you. Raving! Those things that know, they don't think. It's crude instinct to find shelter. Yes. I'm sorry, but we can't get hold of Mr. Dodge. But let's talk about this notion of yours. Maybe you're onto something. I know I am. Put it into more scientific terms. Ho, 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 learned party. And it shakes out something like this. As the rats that survived the poison got started again, well, kind of re-evolved, there was a side effect. Yes. Is that what you meant? Yes. A kind of shift towards aggression. Yes. Angela, is there anything specific that got you going on this? Specific? You say you've got rats there in the house. Has anyone been attacked? Tell him. No. So we're still in the area of interesting speculation. The car. What's that? The car in the lane. It couldn't have been a dream. They were screaming out, those people, and I heard them. And that's what it was. Angie. It was, it was. What people? Well, what happened to them? What would I do? And then they started to come here. First one rat, then more and more. But then they were outside, and the dog knew it, and he ran away. If he could. And now they're inside as well. Everywhere inside the house, running and following us. And we can't see them. But there's a rat swarm in the house. Uh, now, Angela, I'm sure things can't be they're as bad as that. Is an underneath us. Uh, listen to me. And I'm afraid of them, and they know that, too. Is your too. husband there? Yes. Can I speak to him? Yes, but he's afraid, too. The boots on the other foot, don't you see? Now it's time for us to be afraid of them. And we are afraid, and we need help. Can you help us? Um, Angela. Yes. Why don't you get out of there and make a break for it? But if they're outside... One snack, if you're right, they'll go around the outside of the house. Hell, what can we do for these people? Yes. 
Okay. Uh, Angela? Yes? Uh, now, Angela, are you listening? Yes. Whatever's going on there, you obviously need help. We're going to see you get it, fast oh, as we thank can. God, thank God. First thing, tell me exactly where you are. Well, it, it's Hampshire, out in the country, about ten miles south of Basingstoke, off the Winchester Road. A-31. A- uh, Angela? It, it's off the A-31, and, and then a B road uh, to a village called Lower Denton, and then uh, Angela, can you hear me? Where do you live? I'm trying to explain. It's off the A-31, and then a B road to Lower Denton, and then... But it's rather hard to find. There's so many little... Angela! Roger, can, what is it? Angela, Angela, sweetie, I have got to know where oh, you live. Oh, no! Uh, can't you hear me? Can't you hear me? We have been cut off. Pete, check with the switchboard, quick. Oh, it's cut! That's definitely not our answer. Uh, no, Angela, if you've still got that big, noisy radio of yours switched on, hear this. We're going to do all we can. We don't know where you live apart from a rough guess at the area, but we have got your name, Mrs. Angela Prescott. Just Mrs. stop! Pass it! Oh, I did! I did! I did! I did! I did! We're going to try and come up with something after this break, which we are obliged to have. Oh, God. Now's the time to do it. World Overtures new brochure is an honest brochure with a small print. They won't find us. Big print. Greece. Italy. Spain. All on offer and bargain prices. All yours from World Overtures. <laughs> It's the 
gibt's uns auch.